right, we're back with the beast. That's right. Welcome back to the Reality Check 3D printer update video. We're going to be updating uh, these things, you know, these, these, these support brackets that we did here on the original CR10 that we got a long time ago. And we're gonna do some of these upgrades right here to the big beast. And not only that, but we're probably gonna end up doing the same upgrades to the CR10S, uh, the upgraded version as well. Pretty much anything that has this kind of a frame right here, where it's got like the dual frame right here, it, pretty much any of these kind of printers can be, you know, updated with support and not that they all need supports. I mean, I understand not every printer needs these things, but once I did it to this printer right here, I noticed not only was there a lot less shaking, but it just feels really rugged. I mean, if somebody walks over and bumps into it, or if I wanna transport this, which I do transport them quite a bit, having this extra support is certainly going to help keep the entire printer in the right shape uh, without actually you know, bending and conforming. Because I mean, these metal parts, when you put them in and when you move them, especially if they're not level, they certainly can warp and bend. And there's no doubt that when you have a printer of this size, 500 millimeter by 500 millimeter by 500 millimeter, you certainly want to be as, uh, you know, as straight and as perfect as it can be because the, the level is very, very important on here. I mean, more so than it is even over here because when you're doing such large items, that level becomes significantly important. So anyways, what we're gonna do right now is we're going to be taking these little Allen uh, screws, they're little M5 uh, screws that we've got, and we're gonna take these pieces that we've got right here. These are hammer drop-in M5 T-nut 20 millimeter. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use these to take these parts and put them on one right there, one on the other side, one on the bottom, and then basically we're just gonna thread these rods through. These rods right here I got on Amazon, they are a 5 16th rod, and I got 24 inches, so you know, two feet on each of those, and that was five bucks for one, five bucks for another one, and uh, those were pretty simple to get. This printer is a larger printer, so rather than going with the 5 16th ones, I ended up getting 3 8 uh, yeah, 3 8 inch and I got 36 inches so they're going to be a little bit too long and we're definitely going to have to end up cutting the tops of them a little bit but regardless they're going to be a little bit stronger and uh, they're actually going to thread directly through these holes so that are on these uh, support pieces. Anyways we're going to go ahead and get this guy put together right now. So here we have the little nuts in the actual bolts all put together, ready to go. They're kind of a pain in the butt to get together. But make sure you have like at least a 50 pack of each because they use, you know, quite a bit on each one. This one uses three, four, five, six, six, twelve. Plus this one uses four, five, you know, yeah, four. So I guess, you know, it uses 20. You'll need at least 20. 20 pairs, 20 pairs of that stuff. The next thing we need to do is we need to cut a little bit of this uh, plastic, the blue plastic out of there, and then we're going to fit these guys on, and we can do that by measuring, because this guy's gonna go right there, and you can kinda see about how much plastic we're gonna need to get rid of. And then the same thing goes for these bottom pieces right here, is these are going to be attached like that. So they're gonna go on, whoop, like these ones are over here. You can kind of see, we got that going up to there. So, all right, here we go. So there we have it. We have the main CR10S5 upgraded. Uh, I do need to get a Dremel tool and actually cut these uh, oblong pieces right here because they are just a little, little too long. Although you could potentially, you know, you could potentially just throw a reel of filament on that and just call that your filament holder. No, no, that's probably not the best. Um, so anyways, uh, the one thing about this printer, I didn't upgrade the nozzle on it yet. I still do plan on doing that as well as adding a fan upgrade to it. 
Uh, I probably will add some lights to it and definitely gonna add the Raspberry Pi like I did over here. So if you guys wanted to see more on this, I do have a video on YouTube, you can check it out. It is called the CR10 Ultimate Upgrades. And the only other thing I haven't put on the other printer yet is I haven't put these bolt add-ons. Uh, although this one definitely needed them because this rod was too thin, this one over here actually grips inside here because the thread is a little larger. Still, I'm gonna add those bolts to it, but I need to buy some larger bolts for this larger thread. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna go ahead and work on some more 3D printing stuff this week. I'm going to be painting my sword and shield and just uh, stay tuned to the channel and uh, we'll be sure to have a lot of more fun. Thanks for watching, bye.